AI agents are beyond chatbots. They can think, act, and use tools to achieve goals. They can combine reasoning, memory, and usage of tools to achieve some complex tasks. They just don't answer questions. They will take actions on behalf of yourself. In this video, I'll exactly show you how to build a very simple agent. Let's take a look at the implementation. Most of our code is present in main.py. And if we scroll down in the main.py, we have this main function. We are getting a product ID. So we are reviewing a headphone here. And lang graph agent is the function which contains most of the code for creating an agent and running it. So here is where we are having run lang graph agent. We are having certain variables, whether to take few pages of reviews and run the summary against them, or we can just take all the reviews together and we can just run this agent on that. And the next is the most important where we are setting up our LLM. And here is where we are providing the model as O3 mini. This is one of the reasoning models and we can use any of the other reasoning models available as well. But why reasoning model? Because they are really good at understanding the complex task and then reason it based on the user's question, understanding the intent and breaking that complex task into multiple smaller ones and executing that and to make sure that we it meets the goal at the end. So reasoning goals are exceptional in that. That's the reason why we are using the reasoning model O3 mini in this particular case. And then comes create react agent, which is basically a pre-built agent uh, from the lang graph. The next part is where the instruction is, where we are telling that what it needs to do. So here we are mentioning that the agent is a review analysis agent. We are providing the product ID, asking you to fetch so many pages of size. Then most importantly, we are telling that it needs to do a lot of things to make sure that we get a good summary. First thing, it has to fetch all the reviews, then remove the duplicates, filter the spam, then clustering based on the themes that are present in the reviews. And also finally, it has to strictly have a valid JSON as a response with overview, sentiment, certain pros and certain cons, everything available to us. Now, this is a complex, complex thing for an agent, but these agents are really good at doing or completing these amazing tasks. Then we have app.invoke. We are providing the instruction here and then finally we are returning the response to print it out in the main function. We talked about the tools. Let's take a look at that. So here is where we have some of the tools provided. So these are essentially some of the functions which we have written and provided to the agent saying that whenever you need certain tasks to be completed, then these tools can come in handy. That's the reason we are providing those tools and each of this doing its own job. Let's say the first one is fetching the reviews and the doc string exactly says that and the agent will be able to understand by looking at this doc string when to call this particular tool. Similarly for removing the duplicates, filtering out the spams and clustering the themes. We need not have these many things. I just wanted to show that how many tools can also be provided here so that the agents are smart enough to use which one and when. Run this application. Python main.py is the program. We got a response. So here is the JSON, which contains the overview, which is the summary about the reviews of this particular product. The sentiment is mixed. There are certain themes like audio performance, comfort, connectivity, which people have talked about in the reviews. And there are a few probes and few cons. This is gonna be super helpful because every time whenever user visits a product page, then when we have this kind of a agent running to run the summary of the entire reviews and give a good information to the user, user can make an informed decision to buy or not based on what is present in the web page itself. AI agents can do much more than summarization. You can connect them with APIs, CRMs, or even cloud services. For example, you can create a sales agent that can do research on the leads or create a DevOps agent that can manage deployments for you, or create a customer support agent that can handle multiple queries from the customer side. With LangGraph, you can even have multiple agents collaborate and work as a team.
Now you know that how to build AI agents using LangGraph, you can start with a very simple AI agent, then expand by creating multiple teams of agent and how to create a real workflow. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please drop us a like or if you like more such videos, please do subscribe to our channel.